Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, we're making NHS work more attractive to dentists. We've started to reform the contract and create more UDA bands. We've introduced a minimum UDA value to help sustain practices where they're lower. And we're allowing dentists to deliver 110% of their UDAs. We're also reforming the rules to empower both clinicians and commissioners. So we're enabling, for example, therapists to start delivering medicines like anaesthetics, uh, rebasing uh, contract values where they're underperforming. We're also growing the workforce with a record commitment to grow the number of dentists in training by 40%, a commitment never made by the opposition. John Penrose. Uh, Mr Speaker, can I thank uh, ministers for their earlier helpful re replies about NHS dentistry, but I'm afraid that the situation in Western Supermare remains extremely worrying. Local residents regularly say there isn't a single local dentist accepting new adult NHS patients, and many practices have actively reduced NHS work since the pandemic. I push both NHS England and the Local Integrated Care Board, but all we have so far are PowerPoint presentations rather than bookable appointments. What hope can he offer to Westonians who have paid their taxes but aren't getting any N NHS dentistry in exchange? Oh, Mr. Speaker, going to miss uh, my right honourable friend is right. The amount of NHS dentistry being delivered um, in his uh, ICB has gone up. Um, in the last year, we want to go further. The NHS has uh, recently commissioned additional children's orthodontic capacity uh, within his ICB, but uh, through the actions we're going to take, we will be going further. Judith Cummins, final question. Yeah. Mr. Speaker.